Hello friends, here we will be discussing the characteristics of the rural society. So let's start with some introduction part. See, in a rural area, uh, it is served by the different types of banks. For example, commercial banks are there, right? Cooperative banks are there. Then uh, regional rural banks, RRBs are there, right? Apart from that, there are some small finance banks also, right? So uh, if you are working in the rural area, you are very much familiar. Also, you are very much familiar, right? There are different types of the banks. It may be a commercial bank like ICICI, SBI. These are the commercial bank. Cooperative bank like a Kerala Cooperative Bank. Then RRB like a rural, regional rural banks, right? Apart from that, the small finance banks are also there, okay? That means in the rural area, we are having, first, you have to understand, we are having different type of banks. Apart from that, see, it is essential for the banker. That's why it is essential for the banker, particularly if the banker is working in the, uh, it is coming from the urban area and it is working in the rural area to understand the basic structure of the rural society. Okay. So if you are uh, coming from the urban area, if you born and brought up in the metro city, then how you will know what is the problem of rural uh, rural India okay if you are working in the bank and if you are posted in the rural area then it is very very important to understand the rural structure of the India okay now see Panchayat Raj Panchayat Raj has been playing an important role in the development of the villages and the banker how to interact with the panchayats for implementation of the various development programs or the activity so you are very much aware right there are different schemes which are run by the central government, state government, and these are run uh, by the way of banks, right? So the, as a banker, you have to interact with some government officials. For example, there may be a Gram Panchayat, right? There may be a Zilla Parishad, there may be a uh, Taluka level Panchayat, right? So different government institution you have to deal with. That's why it is important to understand the rural structure of the India, okay? Now, what do you mean by here Panchayati Raj? So, whole this chapter is based on the Panchayati Raj, okay? That we have to discuss in this chapter in the detail. Now, the understanding, the functioning of the Panchayat Raj system, it is important for the banker. So, what do you mean by Panchayat Raj? See, Panchayat Raj means basically giving power to the peoples, okay? By the way of Panchayati institutions. So, what are the Panchayati institutions? These are the Gram Panchayat. These are the Panchayat Samitis and the Zilla Parishad. Okay. So these are the important Panchayati systems. Okay. Now let's discuss in the detail. Social stratification. So what do you mean by social stratification? So understand here. Here stratification means the classification. Stratification means the classification. Right. Now see here. See, stratification means what? It is basically the classification. Now see, traditionally an Indian village is not truly self-contained. What do you mean by self-contained? Traditionally, the rural village, it is not self-contained, right? That means, uh, traditionally, one can one village is basically depending on the other village or we can say it is not self-contained means it is not self-reliable it is not a self-reliable it has to depend on somebody for something okay so traditionally the indian village uh, village is a not fully self-contained right so the interaction among the villages through the markets fear religious activity traveling and the social functions like a marriage etc that means what see so it as it is not self contained that means they have to interact with the other things for example uh, how the one village can interact with the other village or how the villagers being interacted with other villages by the way of markets they are having some fear so they will go to fear they will meet each other they are having some religious activity right uh, for the purpose of traveling or other function like a marriage so village one village people how to go to other village people so they are going to interact with each other right so we will discuss the how they have be, uh, how villages being classified basically right so uh, first we will discuss the rural structure now see rural structure is constituted by family kinship caste power and religion what do you mean by it 
see simply rural structure means how the rural india is right in the rural society uh, it is constituted by there are, there are some families there is kinship kinship means what the kinship means simply the brotherhood simply the brotherhood right that means there is no relation there is no blood relation or the family relation still they are very much cooperative to each other that is called basically the brotherhood or the kinship or uh, they, it may happen due to the same caste people can help each other or power or the legion so that's why the structure uh, the rural structure is being uh, consist of the families kinship caste there may be a uh, some people in the rural area which are having power so they will get together and uh, obviously religion is one of the important factor to form the rural society okay so see division of the labor and the organic unity of the village make it possible for everyone to perform the role assigned to them so what do you mean by division of labor sir so first understand here division of labor means what simply uh, the full work is been divided into the task and the task is been uh, given to the particular workers okay that means full work you have to divide in three parts so this will done by one worker this will be done by second worker and this will be done by third worker this is basically the concept of division of work okay or division of labor now what is the organic unity organic unity means what natural unity for example see uh, in you you are having your body right you are having your brain you are having your hands you are having your digestive system you are having your legs so your brain order to your legs to walk so your uh, leg will walk right you uh, your stomach will say i am hungry so your mouth will eat that means your all body organs all body organs they are having unity if any organ denies the order of the brain then how the body will work it is called as naturally the organic unity it is a natural unity right so division of labor means what see in case of in a context of the rural structure see division of labor means what see in a rural area different work is been done by different people for example there are some laborers right uh, there are some uh, farmer uh, workers farm workers simply agriculture workers there are some uh, who prepare the gold ornament say gold smith right so these are different class in the rural area so gold smith will be doing his work of making the jewelry right farmer uh, farm worker will be producing the agriculture right the labor are working in some industry or some low uh, level work right so everybody every worker is doing its own work it is basically the division of the labor okay so now see this is expected to result in the mutual help cooperation the village is also the arena of the conflict see what happened uh, there is a division of labor right so for suppose a farmer is producing some grains and that grains being sold to the uh, goldsmith so goldsmith will take that grain and a uh, farmer can purchase the gold ornaments from the goldsmith so there obviously there is a mutual help in the rural society apart from that you can say the cooperation so one obviously cooperate with the other and uh, also village is the arena of the conflict that means it is uh, apart from the mutual help yes we agree in the villages mutual help is there cooperation is also there apart from that there are lot of conflict also in the villages okay so if i say there are some good things obviously there are some bad things so there is mutual help among the villages cooperation is also there apart from there is conflict also there okay so this is basic about the rural structure now see unit of a development we have to consider village is as now recognized as a unit of a development what do you mean by it simply understand one see uh, even gandhi ji also said you have to move towards the villages you have to look after the villages that means one village must be you have to consider as a unit one unit of a development okay so uh, nowadays you have to uh, consider village you have to recognize village as a unit of the development okay now village is not a corporate group but it it is having its own identity it is having some fixed limits for example say revenue or the forest right and a village commons commons means the nistar land means the land which is a common see for example here you can say see this is uh, this in the picture 
uh, see this is the land which is common in the uh, village so anybody can use that that land basically right these are these are the called as the village commons or the common land or the nistar land okay these are uh, and the shared resources so in the village wells or the tanks that are shared among the all the villages for example see there is a water that can be used by different villages even animal can drink and other all villages can use that water okay so basically what i have to say village it is not a corporate group right but it is it is having its own identity it is having its own fixed limit means what how much revenue village can generate apart from that what is the forest in that village right how much area of that village so basically these are the limit of the villages and commons means for example say nistar land means common land uh, the village is also having the resources which are shared means common resources for example if wells is there or some water tank is there common for the all people of villages so this is what uh, and that's why we have to consider see you can uh, see here uh, this is small village right so uh, there is common water for all villages there is common land for all villages so all village people are unitedly unitedly they are staying in the villages and we should consider the village as a unit of the development okay now uh, village also have the temples mosques churches and the gurudwara these are also open to all believers okay so that's why we have to consider the village as the unit of a development now see caste structure so you are very much familiar uh, the caste structure is very much uh, highly dominant in the rural area so see each village has several jati segments but there are also the neighbor uh, there are, there is also uh, neighborhood ties right there is a friendship also and there is a animosity is also means there may be a dislike or hatred among the peoples okay so <laughs> it is a mixture right so there are three aspect of inter jati or the inter personal relation within the village one by one see the interdependence of the jati through the exchange of a specialized occupational services means what see first why we have to see the three aspect of inter jati relation means what first interdependence of the jati means what see first jati will be depending on second jati for some purpose right for example uh, the uh, uh, say here the goldsmith right so goldsmith will uh, uh, make the gold ornaments right so another jati say kumar right i don't know in uh, your area what is the name of for that kumbar means who are see he is the making the uh, pots or the uh, some from the mud right so goldsmith will produce the gold and he will give it to the kumbar who is making the uh, on the uh, different part which will be used for cooking purpose see these are the items right so basically what i have to say one jati is depend on another jati simply i will tell you say uh, here the uh, luhar i will take this uh, luhar right he is uh, making the say iron uh, uh, iron which are required for the farm for the farming okay so simply i will take the farmer see, see here is uh, some uh, farmer is not the jati i will take the jati see in farmer also there are lot of jati so it is very much complicated uh, if we have to talk about see interdependence of the jati through exchange of specialized occupational services for example see uh, this person is of one jati who is making some work okay uh, this person is from another jati right so this person is from another jati they all are doing their occupational services for example if one person is the goldsmith he will produce the gold ornaments he will sell that ornaments to other person who is from the uh, another jati for example some farmer related jati so farmer will produce the grains food grains he will give that to the goldsmith and goldsmith sell his ornaments to the farmer so simply one, uh, there is interdependence of the jati right now the function of the functioning of the village panchayat generally involving the representative of all the jati residing in the villages so how the functioning of the panchayat happen see panchayat means basically very small unit very small official unit of that village say grama panchayat 
right so panchayat it consists of the all jati uh, representative and third is the functional politics it is also called as the gutt baji of the villages so function so obviously uh, in everywhere there is a gutt baji right mean there is a group of the people okay so these are the three aspect of inter jati or the interpersonal relations traditionally most jati have some occupation linked right i have already told you say kumbhar is making the uh, something from the mud they are preparing uh, making something from the mud kumbhar then apart from that goldsmith very uh, much popular they are making the gold ornaments right apart from that lohar they are uh, making the uh, some uh, from the iron right so these are different jati then uh, navi is also there who is generally having tradition of a cut hair cuts right so different people have different jati and uh, their work their occupation is linked to their jati okay so this is very much common in the villages okay so uh, traditionally most jati have their occupation linked now there was a system of attachment to the village family the payment for the services being made in the kind cash or both this system is called as the jajmani system okay what is jajmani system in simple words lower caste perform the various function for the upper caste and in return received a grains or other goods in the return okay so uh, generally it was uh, previously happening now it is not there right so you have to just understand that concept so uh, say higher caste people and there is a lower caste people previously it was very much dominant in the rural area now it has been reduced uh, due to the panchayat system so that's why we have to understand the panchayat system so see here uh, uh, higher caste uh, so lower caste people they are working for the higher caste people okay so lot of lower caste people are there and a few higher caste people so for them the lower caste people are working and uh, in that return uh, they are giving their some grains or some cash or even for the kindness also they are working for the higher caste higher class people okay so this is basically the yajjmani system also called as the yajjmani system okay yajjmani yajjmani the village must be seen in the context of its network so obviously uh, village is not a single unit it is a, we have to consider the village as a unit of development and also we have to consider the village as the network why network c in several region there are inter village jati panchayat such as misla in the punjab khap in the U western up and kudariya in the northern madhya pradesh so what do you mean by jati panchayat you understand jati panchayat what is jati panchayat means see uh, in jati panchayat the people of a same jati generally the people of a same jati will come together if there is a some issue Uh, relating to their jati right so there will be a people and there is a see uh, through graphical representation so one will be their main head right head of the panchayat so he will be making the decision on behalf of all the uh, panchayat uh, the all the jati people right so instead of going to the court they are having their own court for own jati and this is the jati panchayat got it so you have in simple word their own court which is uh, which is not on the paper it is just they are following okay so inter village jati people means the uh, different people from different village come together and they will have their some justice related uh, activity like that okay so uh, uh, very much popular is misla the misla in the punjab khap panchayat in the U uh, up mainly in the western up and uh, kudariya in the northern madhya pradesh okay these are very much uh, popular panchayats now important issue concerning uh, concerning to the jati and the uh, serious disputes see important issue con uh, concerning the jati and the serious disputes are taken up for consideration in this body so what they do basically if there is a issue regarding their jati or uh, some uh, if there are some disputes which are serious then that will be uh, taken up by these panchayats called as the jati panchayat or the khap panchayat got it so you understand you have to here understand what what do you mean by the khap panchayat or what is the jati panchayat right so what happened in all that this is basically judicial procedure 
ओके बट दिस इज नॉट ऑन अ पेपर नॉट अलाउड इवन बाई द लॉ बट स्टिल इट इज फॉलोड ट्रेडिशनली राइट सो द पर्सन विल बी देयर वन दीज आर कॉल एज द हेड ओके दैट हेड पर्सन विल बी डूइंग द जस्टिस फॉर ऑल द पीपल और जनरली दैट पंचायत विल बी रिप्रेजेंटेड लाइक देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ जजेस से देर मे बी अ फाइव जजेस इंस्टेड ऑफ वन पर्सन देर मे बी अ फाइव पर्सन दे आर वर्किंग एज अ जज ओके बट दीज आर नॉट ऑफिशियली नॉट ऑन पेपर दे आर ओनली हैविंग देयर ओन बिलीव्स एंड दे आर वर्किंग इन द सेम सिस्टम ओके दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू गो टू द कोर्ट और और लीगल राइट सो दे आर इन द विलेज इट इज एग्जिस्टिंग बट इट इज नाउ रिड्यूस अलॉट राइट जाति पंचायत ओके नाउ सी हियर ट्रेडिशनल पंचायत ओके सो अर्लियर विलेजेस यूज टू हैव दी टू काइंड ऑफ पंचायत जाति पंचायत एंड दी विलेज पंचायत ओके सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड इन विलेज पंचायत एल्डर्स फ्रॉम द नियरली ऑल द जाति वेर रिप्रेजेंटेड सो सी विलेज पंचायत ऑल जाति राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल सी उलिया और द सरपंच दैट इज द हेड मैन हेड ऑफिस आइदर ऑन a hereditary basis or even by the way of election also so see what do you mean by village panchayat see this through example here so all the jati people will come together and they will have their village panchayat okay so uh, the head man of that village panchayat uh, will be yeah, either they will be uh, it will be elected or it may be come by the way of hereditary right so the uh, it is called as generally the sarpanch or the ulliya sarpanch or the ulliya okay now if you are from the rural background then it is very easy to you right if you are from the uh, born and brought up in the metro city you have to understand it then the jati panchayat used to hear the property and the family dispute and the village panchayat is used to hear the dispute between one or more jati or even uh, and apart from that the serious matter which are linked to the prestige of the village so very simple what is jati panchayat where the matter written to what the property or even the family disputes is being uh, discussed it being uh, is be judgment is being given written to the matter of property or the village disputes apart from that if you are talking about the village panchayat village panchayat means it is for the broader sense where uh, the dispute between two or more jati you have to go to the village panchayat of if there is a some dispute between uh, which is having uh, uh, the uh, which is linked to the prestige of the village then it is being dis discussed in the uh, village panchayat okay so in simple way jati panchayat is being uh, it is only for the property matters or the family dispute but if there is a dispute between two jati or the dispute is uh, having a relation with the prestige of the village that must be go to the village panchayat okay that you have to understand okay now some states also had a statutory judicial uh, panchayats say nyaya panchayat to administer the chief and speedy justice in minor cases so some states has also their own uh, judicial panchayat so some state has given some uh, official power also to the village level so that uh, there may be a, a speedy justice and uh, some minor cases for example uh which are very small uh, land disputes are there so uh, some state has given their power judicial power to the panchayats you solve your uh, the cases at your own level okay so uh, these are what the traditional panchayats now functionalism what is mean by uh, functionalism functionalism means basically the guttmandi okay so the functionalism it is a feature of a village life and does not have its san its sanction it is a social structure so that mean what is it is not having the sa sanction means it is not uh, allowed by the law okay but it is the feature of the village life so factionalism means basically the guttbandi means what see uh, these kind of people will come together they will from their own group this kind of people will come together they will have their own group and apart from that some people divide themselves so they will be a different groups right group basically creation of the group means the factionalism right now it represent the power alignments between the individual and the family so how the groups uh, being created uh, some family come together and they will rule the village right some family come uh, will come together they will have their own good 
सो द मेजर फंक्शन मेजर फैक्शंस कंटिन्यूसली सपोर्ट टू देयर मेंबर्स इट इंक्लूड टू द यूज ऑफ अ मसल पावर प्रोवाइडिंग द विटनेस इन द ट्रू और फॉल्स इन द कोर्ट केसेस आल्सो सो सी दैट गुटबंदी इज नॉट गुड राइट सो सी सी फॉर एग्जांपल यू कैन सी हियर सपोज दिस पीपल आर अ वेरी मच पावरफुल सो दे आर दे आर दे विल बी द डोमिनेंट इन द विलेज सो दे विल सप्रेस द रिमेनिंग पीपल सो दैट्स वाई द फैक्शनलिज्म इज नॉट अ गुड राइट सो दैट्स वाई इट इज नॉट हैविंग द सेंक्शन राइट द फैक्शन ऑल्सो सिक टू इन्फ्लुएंस द डिसीजन ऑफ द पंचायत सो ऑबियसली इन द पंचायत हाउ द पंचायत विल गो अगेंस्ट द पावरफुल पीपल सो ऑबियसली इट विल बी इन्फ्लुएंस राइट नाउ सी सो यू गॉट द मीनिंग ऑफ फैक्शनलिज्म बेसिकली द गुड बंदी मीन्स द ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल विल हैव द मोअर पावर सो दैट्स वाई देर इज लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इन द विलेजेस राइट सो दे कैन क्रिएट अ फॉल्स केसेस अमंग द अगेंस्ट दी अगेन दी सप्रेस द क्लासेस ओके नाउ डोमिनेंस सो ऑब्वियसली डोमिनेंस मीन्स वॉट सी सम जाति कैम फ्रॉम दी डोमिनेंट लैंड ओनर फॉर एग्जाम्पल से जैट इन द पंजाब राइट सी द जैट इन दी पंजाब एंड हरियाणा आर वेरी मच पावरफुल जैट एंड द राजपूट इन दी यूपी दैट इज मेनली इन द वेस्टर्न यूपी दे आर पावरफुल वाई बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द लैंड आर बिलोंग टू दैट जाति देन भूमिहार एंड द राजपूत इन द बिहार आर द डोमिनेंट देन पाटीदार इन दी गुजरात दे आर हैविंग मेजोरिटी ऑफ द लैंड देन रेड्डी वेल्लैम्स एंड द काम इन दी आंध्र प्रदेश अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट दी ओक्कालिगास एंड द लिंगायत इन दी कर्नाटका सो दीज आर द डोमिनेंट जातीज डोमिनेंट क्लासेस इन दी डिफरेंट स्टेट्स ओके वाई बिकॉज दे आर हैविंग मेजोरिटी ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट मेजोरिटी ऑफ द लैंड होल्डिंग only a small section of these jati held much of the land and many had no holding that is not growing crops see what happened see this person a person is having suppose 100 acres of the land 100 acres of the land 100 acres of the land but actually whether one person is able to manage that land no he only maximum uh, 10 acres he will use for production of the crops 90 acre will be unuseful only it is remaining as a unproductive so such a land is called as the no holding land or having no crops got it now they emerged as the exploiters oppressor uh, of the poor and the weak including those who belong to their own jati so see generally what happened the um, it was previously it was very much uh, uh, a very much common but now it is reduced right so i don't want to hurt the sentiment right but it is in the syllabus that i have to uh, teach you for example say partidar in the gujarat so partidar samaj in the gujarat will have the more power right uh, because they are having more land so more land they are having so they will be the one of the important voters also in the gujarat and they will they are basically deciding the who will be the ruling the gujarat right so they are having more land they are more powerful in the state right so some are emerged as the exploiter and oppressor of the poor and the weak so obviously they are having more power they will be uh, they will uh, they will suppress the lower people right including those who belong to their own jati even also some uh, party that say in the gujarat they are having majority of the pa- party that will have their own uh, big lands so some party that in gujarat suppose they have small lands so the bigger land holder again suppress to the uh, lower land holder so basically what i have to say they the uh, exploiters or the oppressors they do not go they do not seek the which jati the poor or the weak they ju- just uh, they are only having one jati the powerful people okay so basically dominance we are uh, discussing here the dominance nature of the rural area so uh, we can see jats are dominant in the punjab and haryana then uh, jats are also dominant jats and rajput dominant in the western up bhumihar are the dominant in the bihar patidar are dominant in the gujarat reddy villam and kamas are dominant in the andhra pradesh and vokkaligas uh, and the lingayat are dominant in the karnataka okay now see next is what the various influences so there are various influencing factors also in the rural society first the effect of a migration has changed the rural structure so obviously see 
uh, uh, the people from the rural area are migrating to the city area why to seek the better opportunity to better school to better jobs right so the strong uh, bond of the family caste not remain static and the stable because people are moving so there the, the bond obviously becomes a weak right the spread of the education new social cultural value influenced by it have also brought about the changes therefore a rural society should not be treated as a fixed entity with a fixed design or the pattern so you have to remember here rural society should not be treated as a fixed entity because it is continuously changing why it is changing because people are migrating from rural area to city area and that's why we should not consider the rural society as a fixed entity because it is changing right now rural society has changed because of intervention of made by the state by the political and the religious movement for example say arya samaj movement justice party movement chipko andolan movement and the voluntary organization which are working in the rural area and due to these the rural society structure has been changed okay so for example what do you mean by chipko movement so uh, the cutting of a tree were restricted by the uh, by the uh, mainly women's in the village right that is mainly in the i think in the uttarakhand right chipko movement are a samaj work is there voluntary organizations are working in the rural area so these are changing the structure of a rural society okay apart from that most villages include 20 or, or more castes okay so uh, one village include apart uh, along 20 or more caste in the in each village for uh, region for example north to south it has own unique customs ceremony dress food language that separate village from other village so obviously one village is separated from other village because there are some customs are there their own ceremonies are there their own dress code for example now in the north people wear different dress code than the south in the india right food is different language is different right so people uh, these are separated uh, from other villages due to their different uh, dress food language customs like that okay so what i have to say simply the village have the uh, uh, though the village still have the headman the traditional panchayat their influence and the power greatly reduced due to the presence of a high level official of revenue police so see villages still is having the headman there will be a headman in each village right so uh, traditional panchayat is also there their influence and power greatly reduced but the power of a headman and the panchayat is reduced which are traditional panchayat why because the high level official of revenue for example there will be the government official working in the village there is a police which are looking after the matters in the village that's why the power of headman is reduced and power of traditional jati panchayat kha panchayat has been also reduced the factor like road satellite tv is there education is there these are also contributed to the developments okay so people come to know in the villages also they are having good roads though they can move to the city they will get some knowledge from the city they are having tv they can watch tv they can uh, learn about the court they can go to the court instead of panchayat kha panchayat jati panchayat and uh, the education is the important tool right so due to this the power of a headman and the panchayat has been reduced okay now the growth of the rural economy has also affected the caste dominance in the rural area right so rural economy is going is growing up so the dominance of the caste is obviously getting down means what see if the a person from the backward class right he is having their uh, his own business and he is earning good right so obviously he is having good education good money right so why he will be uh, so being suppressed he will have its own resources so he will not follow the dominance of upper caste right so obviously uh, the growth of the rural society affected the caste dominance the land owing upper caste has given way to the lower caste uh, cultivators the recent growth of rich uh, peasants or the farmers with their political influence has contributed to the increase in the offense against the agriculture labor so see what happened in the recently the growth of rich uh, farmer with their political 
influence has contributed to the increase in offense against the agriculture labor means what see the uh, the big land holder right they are having their power political power also so they are suppressing the uh, poor farmer worker right they are uh, doing the offenses against the laborer right so uh, this specially true in case of a bihar and the up okay so these are the basic uh, you don't need to remember even but you have to understand how basically the rural society okay now uh, though there were variation in the caste pattern from state to state basically they fall into the brahmans non brahmans and scheduled caste scheduled tribes okay so roughly if i talk about there are 7% of the population which is brahmans there is 18% which are belong to the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes and 50% belong to the middle caste of a merchant and the land owner okay so these are basically roughly the caste pattern in the uh, rural area roughly right so uh, remaining 25% are the land laborers these are the landless labor sorry these are the landless laborers or you can say uh, urban low paid workers okay so here we will stop the first part of this uh, section okay so you have to download the banker zone app link is given in the description you can join our telegram for that you can directly search at the rate c a i i b b z c a i i b b z without space you can subscribe us on the youtube thank you friends